Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Banjo Tooie, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're once again still in Grunty Industries, and in fact, we've been in here for quite a long while. Much longer than I really would have liked to. But at the end of the day, here we are, and we're on the fourth floor still. There was another entrance I could have gone to, but I saved that for later, which is right here, in this place. And it looks like we need that battery. Yeah, we need the battery to get into the, uh, cable room? Yeah, it is the cable room. Okay. Once we find that battery, everything should be coming up Millhouse. Problem is, um, where is that battery? Where is the battery to? Wait, I think I have an idea on what we need to do in order to find it. The battery, I don't know if it's on the fourth floor, but it's definitely somewhere. Just not here, apparently. Um, was it somewhere on a different floor? It might have been on a different floor, and we needed the regular elevator in order to get it in the first place. Possibly. What I think I'm going to do is warp to the uh, second floor, because I forgot to unlock the elevator on that side. So let me do that right now. Let's take care of that right now while we still can. If I remember correctly, you can get an easier passage if you go this way. Alright, yeah, there we go. It was over here. Make your way in here, find the switch, there you go. Yeah, I think it was up here. And I didn't even press the switch. I really should have done that while I had the chance. It was up here, right? Yeah, I think it was up here. Get out of here, nobody likes you. Especially the environmentalists. Which, to be fair, they're given a bad rap. They really shouldn't. There we go, now that elevator is now open. Well, the elevator door is now open. So all we have to do is just go in there and just climb the shaft, and there you go. That's how you get to pretty much any floor you want. Um, let's see. Have I looked in the, um... I pretty much looked above the entrance. I got that one. Did I go in the waste disposal? On the, uh, s in the second floor? I'm pretty sure I did. I literally have not even the slightest clue. There's a split-up pad over here. And I know Kazooie gets a little bit more leverage when she flies up there. So maybe if she can get to the other side, she might let me know if there's a battery there. I need Banjo to open this specifically. And Kazooie cannot climb ladders. That's unfortunate, so I guess we can't do much about that. Oh god, Kazooie gotta get back somehow. What's down here then? Oh, it's another Jiggy, okay. Gotcha. Oh dear. She's trapped. She's gonna die, isn't she? Yeah, she's gonna die. No sense trying to change fate now. <laughs> Just let it happen. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe I can't do anything about that right now, but I might be able to later. It could be very possible that it's just not available to me at the moment. Uh, I think we'll just leave. I think we've done a lot already. And even if I can do it now, I can always just go back. Like, it's no dire straits that I have to do it right away. I mean, okay, why'd I do that? Why'd I just go back in there? No, go, go in here. Thank you. 
we got other things to do, really. I think we can do this in, like, the past ages. So with that, why don't we actually go to the entrance of, a uh, Hillfire Peaks? We'll deal with that first. Because we can. Actually, before we do that, why don't we get the Claw Clam removed and, uh, head up here? Where were the boots, anyway? Were they around here or something? Next to the Minjo? No, they weren't. Okay. They might have been around here, actually. We'll look for the Claw Clamber boots so we can get up there. Maybe they were up this way. Yeah, they were. I see them. It's a good thing the uh, bottoms of the... P wow. Wow! Oh my god, that pterodactyl is in the worst place. At least I think that was a pterodactyl. That could be a dragon for all I care, but it doesn't spew fire. So it's a terrible dragon. It's literally a drag. <laughs> there, now we can go up this way. Nicely done. Can't do anything about that because, well, we need more jiggies. Or we need to actually go to the challenge. I think that leads you to, like, the final part of the game. So let's unlock this permanent shortcut. I'm not even going to bother to open it yet. But we soon will. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, go over here. Let's take care of that first. Now that we got the boots, we should be able to do something here. Just gotta get on top of this building first. Then you just climb up this little mountain. Okay, the next stage we gotta do is Hailfire Peaks. That one should be pretty interesting, because it feels like two types of levels in one. I'm dead. Haha, <laughs> that, that was embarrassing. Okay. Don't do that again. Oh, really? It just... When you die, like... Anywhere in Isla Hags, you just get get sent here? That's kind of ridiculous. So we gotta go back here again. I should uh, go back to see Cheeto to get that other cheat. We should have it available by now. I'll also have to go back to Jolly Roger's Lagoon to get another Jiggy. Now that we got the hatch ability. Could have gotten it since, like, World 5. But why the hell am I going this way? I completely whiffed on, like, where I needed to go to get the Claw Clamber Boots. They were right here. How did I forget that? That was only a minute ago. And then I completely shit the bed. To be fair, they don't give you a lot of room around this building just to move around. So of course you're probably gonna fall if you move moderately fast. There, that's better. Now get yourself up there. Nicely done. Hey, we got ourselves another Jinjo. Okay, while we're here, go to Jolly Roger's Lagoon. And I think what we should do is split up. Because we're going to need to do that anyway. Luckily, the split up head is only right here. If you remember correctly, we did see a spot where there was an egg. Now that we have the ability to hatch it, let's get in there. Speaking of hatch, I gotta go back to see Heggy, because Kazooie can hatch that egg over there. Let's try it. Later on, of course, once we're done here. Oh, there's your egg. Why is your egg so small? That's better. What are you so mad about, Tip Top? Oh, thank you so much. Wait, 
Something looks odd. Oh no, he's upside down. You mean he's tipped up? That's not funny. Please help him. I found it pretty hilarious. Oh, that's much better. I found this buried in the sand. It's yours. Now come along, son. I'll take you to meet all your sisters. Oh, oh, so you're allowed to be upside down or something. Come on, you can get up there. Come on. Move your tiny little legs. Man, you're gonna get yourself crotch burn at this rate. So I got 60 jiggies. That's a hell of a lot. That's like two-thirds of all the jiggies in the game. That's actually pretty impressive. Making a lot of headway if I say so myself. Alright, what else is there to do? Now that we have all these abilities. I guess we can go to Witchy World. The Claw Clamber Boots were needed to get the, f the other jiggy in a pterodactyl land. If I recall. Because, you know, you needed a little shortcut to bring the food over to the Oogle Boogles. But every time you take any other exit, Grunty will confiscate your food. So, you had to get food in Witchy World, use the Claw Clamber Boots to find a shortcut to pterodactyl land, and there you go. Hopefully it works from this side, because I don't think I activated anything from Pterodactyland's side. I guess we can find out where that secret passage is. I'll get a better vantage point once I'm on top of the big top. Let's try it. I hate getting up there, I really do, because the rope is so narrow! Why is that even there? Oh my god, I hate the rope being as narrow as it is. Because you can easily walk right off of it. Especially when you're this fast. I know there's plenty of ample opportunities to turn that code off. So that you can be at normal speed again. But I kind of like enjoy the ability to move a little bit faster. Where is the secret passage to? I don't really see it anywhere. Where is the secret passage? And you should be able to climb up of it. You know what? I think it might be around here. Like, you go up this way. You might be able to find it. Is it around here? Oh, oh, I see it! I see it! I might have enough time. Okay, that's how you get to the shortcut. It's right here. Shit. I had to open it from the other side. Oh, I'll meet you in Pterodactyl Land in the Oogle Boogles Cave. Give me a few minutes. Okay, we made it back to the Oogle Boogles cave. Now, I just gotta remember where the entrance was, or where the switch was to open your way. Oh, I could have gotten that a long time ago. 
Okay, now that that gateway is open, we should be able to get the food over to the uh, cavemen. We should definitely take care of that as soon as possible. And we know of two places to get food. I don't know how the cavemen will survive with it, but they're gonna have to do their best. It's much better than eating dirt as they've been doing before. There. Just hold like a L and R and B or something. Oh jeez, I got lots of burgers. Maybe the dialogue would have been a bit different. Alright, let's see what it, if it is. Give me a surprise, Joe! Blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew he'd say that. Yeah, he doesn't say anything different. Okay. Now we just gotta make our way back up there and help out those cavemen for real. Hopefully, I only need to make one trip. Because if I have to make. Oh, God. If I have to make more than one, that would be very annoying. Again, I really hate these narrow ropes. These camera angles don't line up to where I'd like them to. Oh my god, I, I, I was going completely straight. Why did it shift the weight one way I don't want to? Come on, come on, come on. This is good enough. Okay, there we go. I think we got this under control now. I'm too worried that if I get hit, I'm going to be knocked off the boots. I think that does happen. So stay away from everyone. <laughs> okay, this should do it for us. It'd be nice to get that jig out of the way, too. Okay, I think that's going to be the most of what we're able to do for now. There, Grunty does not confiscate your food if you go through this side. Can I talk to you? Be warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Me need food you got. You give? Here you go. You're eating a wood. Mm, that tasty. Me all happy now. Okay, now we gotta take care of the other people. I think we should be good. There you go. You need to eat too. Okay, you also get a burger. Guess nobody wants fries. That's fine, I find burgers better. Oh, this was just for an egg. Okay. Wasn't there a place that only Kazooie could reach? I think it was around here, if I recall. No, not this way. Yeah, it was somewhere around here. No, we can both reach this. I don't know why I was thinking it was only Kazooie. I just remember saying that it was so inconvenient for these people, because, I mean, they can't jump that high. How are they all going to see each other? Or, like, how is this guy going to make it back home? Like, if he went down there. Here you go. You just absorb it with your nose. Mmm, that tasty meal. Happy now. Bear and bird friends save Oogle Boogle. Try from extinction. Must have reward now. Oh, that is so greatly appreciated. I would be taking that jiggy. Why are there teeth marks on it? We thought chocolate was inside. <laughs> oh, you thought wrong. That thing was definitely not made out of foil. That's for damn sure. There it is. Okay, it doesn't really matter what entrance we take now. We can probably take the witchy world one for all I care. Alright, we did really well for ourselves. Huh. Well, I'll tell you do that. <laughs> but, we should be able to finish our backtracking for a little while. For now, let's head over to Hailfire Peaks. You know, we'll actually enter it and I don't care. 
You can take my food. And you're gonna gorge it, even though you can't really digest it. Ah, uh, that's your problem, not mine. I'm not gonna see Heggy yet. I'll probably do that later. Yep, there we go. It's in the cliff top. I remember, um, Cloud Cuckoo Land is in the Wasteland area. Alright, so this is Hailfire Peaks right here. Let's enter it right now. Oh, this place looks massive. This is the lava side. Two years! Finally! I've made it to the warmth of Lava World with a belly full of water! In the train station, apparently. You're in a very comfortable spot. Oh, well, this music is actually pretty good. Alright, let's do a small bit of exploring, and then we'll call it an episode. Okay, there's a split-up pad right there. Hmm. It's gonna be hard for me to get up there, so let's let Kazooie do it. Is there anything here other than feathers? No, there isn't. Where's the warp head to? I thought it'd be around here or something, like you know, like right next to the entrance. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I'm gonna burn your furry hide. Oh, that's rude. Okay, it looks like something should go here. Like a switch, but I don't see it. I don't know who's sleeping here, but apparently that uh, tent is a uh, fireproof. Yeah, explain that one to me. Oh, there's a warp. Okay, that's a fire feed over there, whatever that is. And I do see some water, too. And there's also a Colosseum. Okay, I'm not gonna go in the Colosseum yet. Instead, I'm just gonna finish up my round of exploring. Like, maybe we'll check around the water. That dragon is still angry. I wonder what his problem is. Other than the fact that he's a dragon. Warning! Trespassers in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked! I don't want to be cooked. I prefer to be raw. Thank you very much. It's better that way. Um, I guess we can check out what's in here. Let's do that. Okay, we're still on Hailfire Peaks on the lava side. Okay, this is just the same area, only we're just lower. Okay, we'll just hop around here then. Let's see what that takes us. Just two eggs? No, that's gotta be more than this. Also to eggs. <laughs> so there isn't more than this. Dang it, Bobby. That's a bit of a disappointment. Yes, yes, I hear you. Stop being cranky. Kong. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna get up here now. So much for grabbing these notes. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Yeah, it doesn't feel good, does it? No, you don't, you don't like grabbing that stuff. Now you know how I feel. Grabbing something that hurts, yeah. <laughs> you jerk. Oh, there's another secret passage. You can't fool me, game. Alright, let's see where this leads to. To Wamba? That is very weird. I'm guessing Wamba and Mumbo can only access certain areas. Scanners indicate location of kids evacuation found. 
Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting Earthling crosswind. Be careful. Oh, this is the icy side. Yikes! I calculate it's a long way down. Huh? What's going on? Keep ship steady. Oh no. Activate jetpack. Urf. Never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm dead. Oh, that's sad. Maybe you shouldn't just fall down there then. Okay, maybe there's some warp heads around here. Huh, apparently that honeycomb is encased in ice. Wait a minute, what if I use the ice eggs right here? Doesn't do anything. Okay. Can I help you? No, I can't. You actually are dead. Okay, that's fine. What cheek? Fancy trespassing on my glacier without my permission? Boy, are you going to suffer. Wow, both these dragons are very cranky. Can I drill this? No. Ow. Can't drill it. Okay. You know what? I think now would be a good time to call it an episode. We've actually accomplished quite a bit. It may not seem like we accomplished much here, but we will soon enough. Alright, next part, we're gonna go through Hailfire Peaks. Goodbye, everyone.